Hi, Michael, Abby, and Gazelle. Megan Trainer. Hello. Hey, Megan. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? Welcome to Fun 107. Oh, New Bedford. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, not too far away from where you went to high school. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, tell, tell my family. I said, hello. So, like, when you go home to the fam, where do you go? Do you go, home, go back to the Cape or Nantucket? No, nah, that's where we went to high school, but mo- the majority of my family left on the East Coast is on Nantucket. I moved the majority of my family out here, so I wouldn't have to do that, but I still got my grandma there, my auntie there, so I'm going to try to get back soon to show Daryl, especially my fiancé, where I grew up. Uh, to blow his mind, you know? Yeah, by the way, congratulations yeah, on congratulations. the congratulations. Thank you. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hey, can you tell Daryl that we all said hi? Sure. Where is he? Oh, he went to go get me phone nuts because he loves me so much. Oh, my gosh. Hang on, hang on. What are phone nuts? They're like, they're quote unquote better for you than real donuts, you know? But they taste just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when exactly are you getting okay. married? I have no idea. Well, I'll be able to ask me what are my plans. I don't know. I really haven't had a second to think about it. We're just loving being engaged and feel like adults, you know. It's pretty cool. But we don't know if we're going to invite everyone or no one to the wedding. We don't know how we want to do it. If I just want to do it at my house or, like, somewhere far, far away. Are you picturing, like, idea. East Coast wedding or West Coast wedding? Or are you still not even sure about that even? I think I want it to be warm. So, West Coast. But, but it's tough flying everyone out, you know, and making sure everyone's at the same place at the same time. So we'll see. Hey, if you're looking for a wedding DJ, I think I might know one. Stop it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We definitely know I one. I would never, ever yeah? be... No, Megan Trainer, no way, because it would be too much stress. No, do it, and then I, we'll be your roadies. It'll be perfect. Absolutely I not. I will be your groupie. No. <laughs> Go. All you gotta do is play all of my songs, and then you win. Would you for real want all of your own music? Heck yeah, I worked hard on those songs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your new one, No Excuses. Yeah, No Excuses is about respect. It shot right to the top of iTunes, like within like two seconds of it going out there. No, you're right. It's a, it's a very, to me, it's a very important song. I mean, it's fun. Like you listen to it and you think, oh, that's that's a fun song. But there really is an underlying, very important message. Yeah, that's what I love to do, especially with my platform. I love going out there with important messages and and uh, trying to talk to ages, all ages. Just like, hey, let's respect each other a little more, you know? 2018, let's get it together. Yeah, your mama taught you better than that, right, Megan Trainer? Yes, she did. She probably did. I hope she did. But, yeah, she definitely taught you better than that. I know my mama taught me better than that. So how has your mom adjusted to you being... Megan Trainer, like the famous person. Well, let's ask Kelly Trainer herself, Mom. Talk, Mama. Come here. She's right next to me. She's so shy. What's it like having a famous daughter? It's great. You're the same old Megan I've always loved. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. That's so cute. <laughs> so, Megan Trainer, if we if we went to Nantucket, give me like the top two restaurants we should not miss. Ooh, great question. What's the one we always went to with the pasta that Beth loves? Fasaro, that's a great one. And then Lulu. Oh, Lola. Fasaro and Lola. They're so good. Those are the two. You know, you, you won a Grammy Award. I just want to know what one does when they win a Grammy Award. Like, where do you keep it? Right now, um, my fiance put it right in front of our living room TV. So when you walk in the house, everyone gets to see it right next to my diamond trophy i feel pretty special i like looking at it a lot it reminds me like yeah i did that you know and goals accomplished you know do you guys ever watch spy kids together of course we do i've seen all all of them with him by now but we watch it multiple times and especially like whenever i'm in new york it's crazy it's always on tv like especially the first one and we'll just sit there and i'll ask him like how'd you do that how'd you do that scene what is that and it's all to learn all the tricks they did. It was so cool. When when you were little and you watched the movie, were you like, I think that little boy's cute? Um, I mean, I think everyone thought that little boy was cute. <laughs> little Junie was adorable. And sometimes it was it was hard when we were first dating, when I would be making out with him. Sometimes I'd look and be like, oh, my God, it's Junie. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> but, 
Yeah, but then I got over that. Now he's a man. So it must be weird going out as, like, Megan Trainer. I wouldn't want anybody to recognize me if I was just trying to be out and live a normal life. Um, I don't, I still don't feel famous, and I don't, I, I don't feel, like, a difference between, like, I still go out all the time, and I, I don't wear makeup, and nobody recognizes me. It's great. So I, I know how to still feel very normal and great. I guess it was weird when I get to go to award shows and I'm on a red carpet, you know, or tonight I'm going to premiere for I Feel Pretty. So I, I feel like that's, that's a cool thing. But in my mind, we, we just look at it now like date night, you know. <laughs> I guess yeah, like, I got to get a fit and dressed up. But. So I just saw you on Fallon the other night. Does that stuff still make you wicked nervous? I should be more used to it. I still get really a lot of butterflies, really nervous. But I always, when I go on the TV shows, that's the easiest for me because I think of, like, it just being, I get to chill with Jimmy Fallon and, like, 100 people tonight, and that's it. Yeah. I don't think about, like, the millions at home watching. Right. But, uh, <laughs> but then in the moment, of course, I do. I wave at the cameras. But, yeah, I try to block that out. Well, listen, Megan Trainer. next time you come back uh, home here to Nantucket, make sure you stop by to Fun 107 and say hello. Yes, Fun 107. I wish I could be there all the time. Thank you for playing my songs. I appreciate you all. And we, we love the cardboard cutout that you sent. Thank you for that. Yeah, I appreciate that. You're welcome. That was my idea. That was my the background of my fiance's phone. And I was like, let's let every radio station know that I'm right there watching them. Well, you were you were actually made our Fun 107 Christmas card. You were, <laughs> you're, you're in the group. Like, it's a group photo and you're in it. Oh, my God. I'm honored. I have to go find that. <laughs> hey, Megan Trainer, thank you so much. Have a great day today. Thanks for calling into the Michael Rock Show. Thank you. You too. Thanks for having me.